Hi YouTube, it's Cheryl from Sweet Sensations. I'm coming at you with a quick video. Um, I was about to go to bed, but I thought I'd just um, quickly show what I worked on today. Um, this soap I soaped and I really had no idea what I was going to do. I just felt like I wanted to make a soap, but I really didn't know what I wanted to do. So, I'm just zooming in here. I ended up doing a soap with um, a lavender pomegranate loose leaf tea as well as orange oolong loose leaf tea. So I mixed both of those into the lye water. So what I did was, the same thing I did in my chamomile soap video is I added those um, loose, leaf, le loose leaf tea um, just as my water was getting to the right my lye water was going to the right temperature and then I separated the batch into three um, this time what I did was I strained my lye water first and then added it to my oils and then I separated into three so that I had no, I separated it into four actually I separated it so that I had one base and I did an orange and I did a red and then I did another plain base so I had two bases and then an orange and a red. And then on one of the bases, I added back the tea leaves. And then I swirled in um, the red and the orange, which I think I blended too much in my swirling there. And then I added some of the plain, um, the plain uh, soap base. And then I had some extra, so I made my two cupcakes and then I still had a little bit extra, so I just did a piping down the side and some crushed uh, rose petals there. Um, and then I added fairy dust glitter and red and orange glitter. My camera is making everything look a little yellow, but it's not. It's um, like an off-white. It's a natural soap color. It's not yellow. It just looks like it through the camera. I don't know why. Maybe I can turn it like that. You guys can see the whole thing. So yeah, and my two cupcakes. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something else that I worked on. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So my last video I said I was gonna make um, shampoo bars because I had a girlfriend of mine that she wanted to me to make her shampoo bar. So I adventured out, did a little bit of research, and based on what she needed, she needed something for dry itchy scalp as well as to moisturize her hair because she is um, she's actually dread now. Um, so she wants something to moisturize her hair and everything like that. So for dry itchy scalp, I read that neem oil is really good, which is this bottle here, which I picked up. And I made, um, well first I made this batch. Um, there's a couple more slices, but I only brought these over. But I didn't realize neem oil had a very distinct odor to it. It's not, in my opinion, the best smelling oil. Um, it's described as having a peanut mixed with garlic um, odor to it and yeah I'd say a little bit more heavy on the garlic side but you can smell the peanut too yeah I'm not a big fan um, I tried to add a lot of um, fragrance oil to it um, to cover it because I really it was making me feel sick to my stomach honestly <laughs> but um, yeah you can still smell the neem oil through it. But anyways, this is what I came up with. And this one, I love the pattern. It's really pretty. I love this swirling. I did green oxide with um, white titanium di dioxide. And it looks really pretty, but I can really smell the neem oil still. Um, more so than the fragrance. The fragrance is like very barely there. And the neem oil just really overpowers it. Um, so that was my first test so I decided since the neem oil was not my most favorite scent that I was going to try another batch which is what I did here uh, with less um, less um, neem oil so this one I did about 20% neem oil this one I cut it down to half and I did green again, but I ran out of 
this green oxide. So this I mix ultramarine blue with um, yellow oxide to get this color. And I really, really actually prefer this color because it's more olivey, where this one is more um, like grass green or apple green. Um, I scented it again with the mango, a little bit of sandalwood and a little bit of ginger, fragrance oil and essential oils. And um, you can still smell the neem oil. <laughs> um, yeah, I contacted uh, some people from this on the soap forum that I'm, that I'm a part of, and they said one lady said that uh, she made something with neem oil and it's still sitting on her shelf because it it was really bad scent. It's only five percent um, neem oil she used. Another lady says she quite she likes the scent the scent doesn't bother her and some people said they've been using essential oils um, to scent it so I don't know guys I'm hoping that this the neem oil scent evaporates and fades over the next four weeks that it cures um, this one is not as strong it's still well it's pretty hard now I did it this morning I'll probably cut it tomorrow because um, it's really late. I don't know. I was going to bed and I just thought I'd shoot this video. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm hoping and praying. Otherwise, I'm just going to do something else. I'm going to try almond oil instead. Because almond oil is supposed to be good for itchy scalp too. I really um, also myself have itchy dry scalp too. So um, I was really hoping that the neem oil would be a solution but if it's going to smell like this I'm not going to be able to use it in my hair no way or I'm going to have to find a really powerful essential oil to mask the scent of the neem oil I'm going to try again tomorrow and I'm going to try only doing three percent or two percent neem oil and uh, making the difference up with the sweet almond oil because um, I, I bought a big jug of it anyway so yeah, guys, um, any hints, tips, or tricks, uh, leave a comment below. I'm going to say bye-bye now because for some reason YouTube takes forever to upload videos. And I don't want to make this video too long. And tomorrow I'll show you cutting this shampoo bar as well as this um, tea <laughs> soap, which has no fragrance oils, by the way. Um, and I got my texture top. Well, you probably can't tell, but my texture top is better. Anyways, guys, um, I'll talk to you soon. Have yourself a good night. Bye.